You are listening to Power Stance Gaming Podcast. The number one podcast for gaming and hobby banter. With your hosts, Jacob, Fred, and Muddy. Oh man, how good is that new intro, Muddy? Oh, I'm so loving good. it. Yeah, yeah. Beastie Boys. Fucking bring it, boy. In the house. Yeah, a bit of old school. Greg, you like Greg, Beastie Boys. You like Beastie Boys, I don't love you? Beastie Boys. One of the first albums I ever bought. Oh, really? Yeah. Was that yeah. and um, Wham? Yeah. I, no, not Wham. Definitely not Wham. <laughs> Beastie Boys, yes. <laughs> uh, Teenage Mutant come on, Ninja come on, Turtles, come on, come on, maybe. Come on, come on, come on, <laughs> By MC Hammer was the other yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, he was a t- T-U-R-T-L-E. Power. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Sorry, Mel and Kim. Oh, that one. Mel and Kim. <laughs> tay, 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 tay. Well, they're not going to get back together anytime soon, are no, they? No, well, thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. <laughs> My first album was uh, You Can't Touch This by Hammer. Well. There you go. Nice one. Oh, no, it was, uh, that, wasn't the, that was the track. The, Hammer was, the album was called Hammer, Please Don't Hurt Him. That's it. There you go. We should Google where he is now. He's still kicking along. He did a song there not long ago. Really? Yeah, maybe three years ago. I thought he was Might working in a call center. <laughs> yeah. I think I, he was... I'm sure he's been in a few movies, too. Not Vanilla Ice, mate. He's in movies still. Vanilla. Vanilla Ice had his own home renovation show. Are you, <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm serious. It had a pun name as well. It was like, um, uh, I don't know what it was. But like the whole thing was, oh, we've got a problem. And you go, yo, I'll solve I'll it. Solve it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and what does he do? Just walk in and beat the fucking house down. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Shit, uh, oh, yeah. Get out everyone. Jacob Connor here from Power Stance Gaming. Great Sorry for the up. extended intro. Yeah, Greg's here and Muddy's here. We're a I'm bit here. out of practice. Muddy's here. Yeah. We're all cruising. We are cruising. It's been... It's Christmas mode, right? We're still in Christmas mode. That's it? Yeah. I'm not even back at work yet. Nah, I haven't left. <laughs> 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 Jerks. <laughs> What's your busy time, isn't it? Yeah, it's busy. And uh, we know we said that we'd uh, be back in February, but we just miss you guys so much. That's the audience. I'm, I don't miss my co-hosts all that much. He does. He's always ringing us up. Always but, uh, on the ill Facebook. Yeah. We figured we just have so much to talk about that we didn't want to waste three hours of the first episode going what we've done over summer, so we'd We've already wasted early. about three hours before turning the mics on, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we've wasted all the Talking good stuff. Crap. Greg, what have you been up to? Man, where to start? So, okay, so you know where people do to-do lists? That's a, that's a thing. Muddy, you're looking at me as if you do them. Some people do them. I do them. I have to do them because it's just, it's the only way I can deal with stuff. Sometimes my boss gives me a list of things to do. Right, okay. So you don't... Is that a, the same? You're not a fan of the, the to-do list? I actually do do to-do lists when I've got a fair bit on because it, it's the only way I can... Get them nutted Focus. out as quick as I can. I'm like, okay, I've got to get this done. Let's six, these six things done. These things done. I've got two days to get them done. I've got to, and I, and I literally cross them off the list. So you know, right? So take that list. Yep. Over the holidays, since uh, we last caught up in the cast, I have had four different to-do lists. Now I don't mean as in I've got through it and then created another one. I actually have four different to-do lists for each aspect of my life. That's how busy I've been. Which has been insane. I'm just impressed you've got four aspects of your life. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. It's, uh, can we, are we allowed to talk about all of them? Or is one yeah, of them yeah. your search parameters? Or? No, one wasn't the search parameters because I didn't have time for that, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fifth aspect. Yeah, I'll call it shenanigans. Uh, That's his final form. Yeah. I, had a list, I had a separate list totally dedicated to CanCon. I had another list that was hobby, sort of outside CanCon related. Yep. As well as... Um, to do with uh, Bonzi Games, yep. some sort of semi-business. Then I had another list for stuff around the house that I had to do, like DIY type stuff and That's family the main type list, stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then I had my own personal stuff to do as well. So four blooming lists, and two of them were kind of hobby related. Um, so it's been it's been a mental, it's been, it's been a really stressful two months because <laughs> I've just there's been times where I've just gone to bed and I go on, I don't want to sleep because I've got I've got too much to do. I've got it's too much to hammer through. And then just woke up at crack of dawn and, and like kids are still in bed, fast passed out. The miss, missus beside me is still asleep and I've gone downstairs and chipped away at stuff. You can't switch off. Can you? can't at all. Yeah. Yeah. Even the days where I thought, you know what, I'm going to take the day off. 
I'll do nothing. There's no such I thing. I still manage to try and go, oh, you know what? I could just, I've got five minutes to spare. I might just do that. Yeah. So, but it's been good. Like, it's been good to get Hammer stuff out. So, get caught up and do new stuff. So, have you gone away or anything like that? Taking the kids' a few days, family anywhere? Yeah, or? a few days over the beach, yep. which was great. Yep. Up on the sunny coast. Mm-hmm. So, it was nice to get away and, yeah, build build a massive sandcastle. Sandcastle of all sandcastles. Because that's what you do as a dad. You got to show all the other dads how it's done. I thought you would have been sitting on the beach with a really thick pair of dark sunglasses, <laughs> just checking what the scene, yeah, yeah, making I've sure heard, everything's safe. I've heard the latest fashions are also, you know, to keep an eye out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah certainly. I have to I have to agree with you. The uh, the fashion, um, the current fashion trend on the beach it certainly got my attention. Attention, yeah, that's the right word. Yeah, <laughs> were you rocking some dark sunnies? Well, I, you know, you always do when you go to the beach because you know the glare <laughs> off off the sand is and, so extreme. Would you say it's G rated? <laughs> <laughs> I would absolutely say that. And for for any of you out there that haven't been to the beach, get to the beach. Uh, it's it's you, you will not regret it. And was your missus asleep at the time? Uh, part of it. But then and then she woke up and she proved and she and she she noticed the uh, the current trend in fashion and was quite surprised. And did she give them a five star rating as well? She gives some a five star rating. <laughs> Oh, there's not so much. <laughs> the leathery <laughs> ones, not so good. Yeah. There were certainly some aspects where the, uh, yeah, the attire was getting attacked by. Not aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> yep, that's exactly the words. Yep. yep. Uh, uh, awesome. Wow. So, um, I don't know how to follow up. I got. That, no, yeah, yeah, I've been working. Let's go back to hobby. <laughs> Although I'm liking the beach a much stuff more, more safer environment, I think. Yeah, Marty, what have you been up to? Um, so since the Christmas break, I did take a trip down to Sydney for a week. Um, we did the whole, you know, hung out at Darling Harbour, um, the aquariums, all that sort of stuff. Katoomba, saw the Three Sisters, um, took the kids to see all that sort of stuff because they'd never seen that before. Hang on, what's the Three Sisters? Uh, it's Katoomba. It's like three. I was thinking of parts of it. Rock. It's up, up, up in the Blue Mountains. Right, Blue Mountains. It's, yeah, yep. they call them the Three Sisters. Uh, I'm assuming there'll be some a story that goes along with it. I'm not actually versed in it, but he's, essentially you're up pretty high. There's an old um, coal sort of thing you can go down, a little coal train. Uh, there's some bush walking, and then there's uh, you literally go um, from one mountain to another on a sky rail and all that sort of stuff. So I took the kids on all of those. The the wife hid in the um, cafeteria. She wouldn't do those parts of it, but the rest of it was... It was a bit of driving, but it was... Um, yeah, the kids had a ball. I was proud of them, actually, because the... Like, that sky rail, you are... You're up there, and there's nothing... You can actually see through the floor. Holy cow. Yeah. They they, they hit the switch, and you can... And then the, the floor sort of Eesh. gets the cover off or something, and you just... You can look literally straight down, however far it is, I don't know. Yeah. And you go, you go across, and then you come back again. But that was pretty good. And then the, the, the Darling Harbour and the um, Wax Museum, all that sort of stuff, and I caught up with the old man I hadn't seen in a few years. So, yeah, it's pretty good. But as far as hobby went, uh, nothing down there. And then since being back up here, I've pretty much been at work the whole time, and I've been punching out a bit of painting here and there, but not too much in the way of game, really. Played Space Cam? Yeah, played, we played um, Galactic Armada. That was the first um, proper test game, and um, I think... I think it was all right. Um, I just got to. I really want to nut down because we didn't use squadrons, so I really want to start nutting out the squadrons rules. So next playtest, I'll incorporate squadrons into the mix. Certainly can confirm it's fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Was it. Good. it was, thanks for coming. Yeah, it was, it was quick and easy. Yeah. Yeah. So I got what I wanted out of it. I think. But more playtesting, and we'll get there. Mm. But that's about it, really. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds all right. Yeah. Yourself. Uh, Christmas for me was nearly two weeks on a houseboat on the Murray River. So that was... That's tough. It was That's really tough. Very tough. What a jerk. Yeah. Um, we didn't stay on the houseboat. Like, we stayed at my parents and we'd just go down to the boat every day and come back. So, we were sleeping in air conditioning, not on the stinking hot houseboat at night, which was nice. Mm. Um, but yeah, just lots of chilling out, did a bit of water skiing, read a lot wrote lots of stuff for my upcoming Infinity RPG campaign when we kicked that off. Yep. Which I think has been pushed back a few months now because everyone's just so mm. busy. It's, it's that time of year, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Everyone's kind of got 
so much on hobby wise. So hobby wise I mean, and family wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes it hard. But um yeah, so really keen to kick that off when we get a chance to and um yeah. Otherwise just sort of been back and did a big commission job for Oh yeah. They look good too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. See, Painted a bunch JT, of US infantry. If JT's listening, right, you're gonna be pretty happy. Yep. Better than the um Toha. The Toha, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so oh, we, um, we've um decided to, and we'll let you know at the end of the cast, too, how we're going <gasps> to give this Toha army away. Ooh, Listen this, so story? if you are after a three, fully painted 300-point Toha army <laughs> with an additional HVT, <laughs> converted HVT... Yeah, I can, I can confirm it will be converted, yes. Um, we'll let you know at the end of the cast how you can win it. It's also worth... Mention to listeners who don't play Infinity that the rules are free. So you can download the, the rules for free. You can, you know, get involved in the competition, win yourself a, a totally legit ITS Infinity Tournament system. Too legit I. to quit. There you go. Do you know what? You probably can win it and also be the first to win a game with it. <laughs> <laughs> that could happen too. Which is very likely. <laughs> no, nah, you'll be right. I really don't think I will be. <laughs> what happens if you win? Do you guys get like a big... What do you get? You don't get a big sword or anything. What do you get? What's your trophy? A, a can you Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a, like a bowl. A bowl. I'm pretty sure it's a bowl or it's a... Is that the sort of bowl you put... There's a trophy, you, but you I know car keys Rory... In? No, Rory... No, you I shouldn't say Rory in it. broke it. <laughs> when he got it, it was broken. Because I remember we were in the cab and he, he sort of held it up and the bit fell off it. And he's like, whoa, what? And it looked like somebody had glued it before but didn't do a good job. So it's like, <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. I can't, no, it wasn't a bowl. It's something, I can't remember. It's got like um, like, a, like a plaque thing or whatever. And anyway, that fell off it, the, the stand. Yeah. But the the big properly. thing you're competing for really is the invitation to Interplanetaria. Ah, oh, that's right. That's um, You had the interview with Rory. Rory. Yeah. 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 Yep. Nice. Yeah. Yep. yeah, so I think the opportunity, you know, to have, basically, if, you, if you've never got involved with Infinity before, Get involved in this competition. Yeah, and it's going to be fun too. So, well, if you're sitting on the fence for Infinity, here's free free minis, free rules. Off you go. Off mm. you go. Yep. Still not enough to get muddy into the game. No, nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, particularly with miniatures. As well. <laughs> <laughs> Which are lovely. Like you know, if if you like, I, I aliens, feel the, then... the, the paint job adds a lot to the aesthetic. <laughs> How long do you spend uh... on average per mini? Oh shit! There's what, fifteen minis? Yep. And three hours. So I'm not good at math, but not much. No. So hang on, that's 180 minutes. So divided by 15, that's about uh, less than 18 minutes per mini. So it'd be about 15 15. minutes. Yeah. 12 minutes. Is that a rough guess? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's including paint drying. Yeah. <laughs> Drying. <laughs> and based. <laughs> and based. Based, there you go, based. Yeah. Probably spent more time marking the line of sight marking than <laughs> oh, God. anything else, getting that straight. Oh, quality. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, but don't let this deter you. Yeah, don't, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Funny thing was, we sat down with um, Vizzy's painting criteria from his last tournament. <laughs> he, he checked did, all the, the checklist. And it would, it would have got an 18 out of 20, I think. Oh, that's all painting, right. So. so it's, it's full, full, it's yeah. full tournament. Full tournament ready. Yeah. I mean, this is yeah, soft score friendly. Yep. Yeah. That's all Shout right. out to Vizzy. It's been a while. Yeah. Oh, well, your um, tournament seasons will be like all the tournament seasons. Yeah, it's going to kick in, off. Right? That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's, uh, so, although he's he's working a lot, isn't he this year? Mm. Uh, shame because you know the Infinity community needs to get more dudes like Vizzy that can get out there and start running. Oh, events. that goes for any community. Like you need guys to step up and run the events, or there's no events. Yep, no, there's been talk of it on the, um, the Magic Vault page for Infinity specifically about yeah. who's going to be running them and whatnot. So That's the Mecca, of, right? That's the Brisbane Mecca. It is at the moment, yeah. It's been getting good showing. I was there uh, a couple of weeks ago and we had about 10 players playing. Yep. So five tables, four or yep. five tables. Are they still playing at Ace Comics in the city? I'm not sure. I don't. There's nothing that comes up on the Queensland, Northern and New South Wales Facebook page. Mm, okay. It's 10V mainly. Or well, maybe if anyone out who goes there can hit us up, let us know if they actually are. Mm. Yep. Cool. Um, right. Next really important question on the list is, uh, what did Santa bring for Christmas, dudes? Muddy? Well, mine, we were just talking about this before, me and Greg's stuff. Um, 
That you're on the naughty I list. Got, no, no, I got the. I bought myself the Necromunda early, and that was the missus bought me um, the, an old Atari. It's like the new. It's a like it's a new Atari, but it's like got all the old Atari. It's yeah, like 150 games on it yeah, or something. Yeah. I got a Super Nintendo one. Yeah, it's it's deal. like yeah. that. Yeah, you just literally plug it in. And she bought it for herself. Like straight oh, away. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight away. She said, "Oh, let's play Frogger." <laughs> straight away. I'm like, "You did not buy this." Yeah. For me. Who do you think spent ten hours playing Yoshi's Island? The yeah. Are oh, you kidding me? Wasn't yeah. me. Yeah. But oh. I gotta be. I did like Frogger. It was good. And I've got the highest score in the family still, so... Nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You shot them. You shot yeah, them. Who's I boss? did. But it's, it's, it's pretty classic. It's got River Raid. Hey? River Raid. Oh, it's got freaking pages and pages of games. I, I, I can't possibly know. Like, all we've played is Frogger. That's it. <laughs> that's all we've played. Because <laughs> I think that's the one that she... I think she thought it had something else. And it wasn't on there. Um... Because she was, she was looking. Actually, she was looking to buy. She bought one of the family friends one as well at the Sega. There's a Sega one. Ah, oh, okay. But she was disappointed because I think like how's this? She's bought them this pro this present. I think so she could play Alex Kid. No way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't the Alex Kid that she remembered. It was a pre pre. It must have been a pre Alex Kid to the one that she remembered. Right. Because so it was the one that came wasn't happy. Built in with the SNES. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was brilliant. I stopped, yeah. you know, many a late night when I should have been in bed sleeping. Yeah. Alex Kid. Well, it's probably that's. I'm assuming she was probably playing the same one, and yeah, she's gotten an older one or something. And uh, she's yeah. like, oh, this <laughs> isn't the one that. Oh, really? I remember. And she. This is crap. Yeah, she pretty much left the room. But Sega was Sonic. <laughs> that's what everyone played yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. Like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yep. That was it. That was yeah. your go-to for Sega. Yeah, because I didn't do much of the Sega. I was. I, I did play Alex Kid. Um, and a bit of Sonic. I'm just trying to think through the Sega games. I can't really think of any others. I was big on Nintendo. Yeah, we had Nintendos as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm a yeah. Mario boy through and through. They, they were just golden. Yeah, and still are. They still are. Yeah, like, like, I can that, still that get out with the Wii U. and Super Mario Brothers 2, I think, on the SNES. Classic yeah. game. You can yep. still play that nowadays. And all the... Yeah. Um, uh, the ra- the racing ones. Um, yeah, Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Yeah, they're yeah. great. You have to crack out some Mario. Yeah, Kart, even yeah. on the Wii, like the Wii U's and all that. Like they're just great. Yeah, I have mm. ball on those things. So yeah, that was that was my Chrissy. Yeah. yeah. So, but I did eat a ton of ham. Boom. Bonus. Yeah. Two thumbs up. But you were just saying about your mighty up order. I mean, that's that's over the Christmas period. But what? Your mighty up order. Oh yeah, well, um, I just found out about after this afterpay thing. I'm obviously a bit slow to it, but there's all this stuff on specials, and you just pay it over. I think it's four payments, one a one a fortnight, and it just comes off your credit card. So I've been jumping on that now. Just so how long was your uh, your wanted list? Uh, it had forty two <laughs> items on it on my wish list. <laughs> your wish list, yeah, your mighty eight wish list, <laughs> yeah, forty two, yeah. Yep. And did you buy all forty two no, items? No, because because some I the last order I only ordered items that were in stock, so I wasn't having to wait. And to be fair, there's um, Star Wars Armada on there, where the ships haven't been released yet. The, to you know TBC and Legions on there. Everything that's come up on Legion, I've wish it's all on the wish list. So I could just go boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. happening. That. That's cool. It's happening. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's something to look into, isn't it? This afterpay business. Yeah. I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Because I hadn't used it before. And then when I, I thought, I was literally there with the with the wife. And I was like, oh, this is like, it's like 300 bucks. I was like, oh, I don't know if I really need it. And then I saw the, I was like, oh, I'll just click on the afterpay, see how it yeah. works. And it was like $70 or something. I was like, oh, a fortnight. Oh, yeah, that's easy. You click. When's Legion being released? It's, it's it says, minutes, isn't it? It says March. Right, March still. Okay. Yeah, but... I thought it was like... Jacob will chime in, I'm sure, that Fantasy Flight are kind of known for being a little loose on the dates. Uh, yeah, well, it's a March US release date. Yeah. I mean, October it gets to Australia. Oh. Some of their stock, you know. It's... Right. Who knows? And it's a set, like, it'll still be delayed in the US, and it'll be on the boat for months, kind of thing. So there you go. They've so, got a bit of a history of it. They're just teasing. That's all it is. They're just teasing. They're just jerks. Yeah, no, they tease you. Maybe they should just send you us want a free it? copy. Do you really want it? To review. Well, them. that'd be awesome. Yeah. If oh. Fantasy Flight want to send us a copy of Legion. 
Yeah, that's, yeah, that's we'll a good idea. It. Yeah, probably could just yeah, could probably get up. I have got one other item that was in my Christmas shopping bag that I can't tell you guys yet. Ah, uh, is this? This is when I'm going to take over the airways. I think we're going to have a cracking good review of this game. Right. Okay. Yeah. Secret squirrel stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty. I'm is pretty it pumped. Safe? Like, is it PG? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 This. This. Yeah. I, I'm not going to say anything because you, you might be able to guess it. So. It's gonna be a shit kicker. I've got, okay. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, right, I okay. think so. I better be, because <laughs> I'm super pumped for it. All right, Mr. Connor, what did you get for for Christmas? Well, I scored the the Super Nintendo, yep. which was a lot which, of fun. Yep. Um, uh, and yeah, it's just Christmas Day with my brothers sitting around the TV. Well, my brother, that's in Australia. Yep. Um, playing the old Nintendo games. It's just like, it was like, old times. bam, 25 yeah. years yeah. ago. Rewind know? the clock. Yeah, and it's same shit. He's still Luigi. You know, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> did you still beat him? Did he beat you or did you beat him? Oh, it was kind of 50-50. It was quite yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And, yeah, I kind of, my family have learned that it's just easy to give me cash rather than buy me gaming stuff. It's it's hard, isn't it? Mm. Uh, my wife won't do it. Do you not do the list? Nah. No? Nah, but I, then, because I don't... I don't yeah, miss it. You but it's, it's different yourself. now. Like, now you've got your online retailers like Mighty Ape, you know, because even for a non-gamer, going to somewhere like Combat Company online can still be intimidating. Mm. I know it sounds weird to us, but like, if you go, oh, Nan, can you just go buy me some Infinity? And she goes, oh, shit, you know? Yeah. That is, yeah. Well, see, what I do is I actually send maybe five links of what I want, but they're direct links to, say, the combat company. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. but you might as well just but buy I'll, it yourself. Yeah, but I just say yeah. I just want one thing. So, yeah. so it's like it's one of five. Uh, so okay. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's yep. going to be something I like. Yep. So, and that's that's cool. Because yep. like, I know it's, it's such a finicky thing. It's such mm-hmm. a, you know what I mean? I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, the exact reason you said, I wouldn't expect any of my family to go, oh, yeah, let's go to the combat company and... You know, navigate a marriage of million different things. Yeah, for the one thing that I might like. I want to. I want to make my wife have to go to the G Dub store. Oh nowhere, <laughs> no. Yeah, nowhere. <laughs> my wife Come did out that with once. Forty k army. Like that's not what I wanted. <laughs> she um she went in and bought me um King Leon Leonco on the Hippogriff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, like she went that's in. That's awesome. And she's like, oh, my husband wants. He he's got the the colourful night ones. And so they sold her the most expensive model in the range. They, so they, that guy, he's probably yeah. manager now. Yeah, <laughs> he's got skills. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but no, it's at least she didn't come up with like ten pence, a can of spray, some glue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a couple of movement trays and a tape measure <laughs> and a twenty-five dollar yeah. tape measure <laughs> and a fifty-dollar token. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> <Right>, sure. <laughs> so yeah, um, so I've got some stuff. I'm got the cash there ready to go when the Orlocks come out for Necromunda. I can't believe Ooh. that's still not out. Yeah. Pulling the, the trigger on that one. Yep. Um, and I'm also getting a, another 20-odd Militia miniatures from Spectre. Spectre. Ooh, just yep. to bump that right up. So I'll have about 50 Militia to Ooh, run. You're going to run an actual like a scenario game where you're yeah, going to yeah. use all these guys? Alright, yep. cool. So, um, we should get some... Uh, we should run that. Get some picks. Yeah, I, I'm keen to do oh. even on an eight by four or something. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. A big game. All oh, right. Fully pimp it That'll out. That'll be interesting. Yeah, because we've got the terrain, and we could do like a dockyard with the the boat. That'd be and sick. You could have, you could have separate the, teams coming in from different mm. angles, and we got my Aussies. We have got Josh's Yanks. So we've got there you go. Horses. Oh, yeah, the, who wants to see it? Put your hands up. Put your put your hands up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah, something we could do. I was thinking that'd be cool to do like a big ass scenario like that at. A QNK Saturday or something like that. That would be awesome. Invite some listeners to yep. come and join in. That would be, be lots of fun. Because mm. the thing is, the great thing is now with the QNK moving to Saturdays and all day, there's no rush. It's not like, you know, you're trying to, it's like all of a sudden you're looking at your clock and it's midnight and you're like, oh, far right, you know, it's it's time to go. We've got all day, you know, take our time, mm-hmm. enjoy it. Um, I think that's it's great. I know personally from my um, perspective, I hope that, is the way it translates because my weekends are I work a lot of weekends so I'm hoping that 
that does free that up for me to actually come down and and to play some kings and be, still hang out with you boys yeah. while you play your infinity or well, Aristia or whatever. My, my thing Did is, I pronounce that properly that time? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, with kids in sport, like we've got swimming <laughs> and dance and football. Yeah. On Saturdays. Yep. So it's like um, I've got. The footy and my daughter's yeah. got gymnastics all on a got Saturday. Cricket, so I'm just hoping that, that they, it stays open. Like, if I get there at 2 o'clock and it shuts at 4, that's, yeah. that's my concern. If it was open till like, if it was open till like, if it was open from, like, I don't know, 9 till 7, that would be freaking fantastic. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yep. Because you could literally go in in the late afternoon. That's after right. all the sports are done, you've had your lunch, you've, yep. you've gone to the movies, whatever. And then you could have a game up to basically dinner time, and yeah. then come home, have dinner, hang out. That's what I'd be after. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping so. Same here. No, I agree. You know, basically have your lunch and then cruise up there for the avalanche. Yeah, I'm and really have an looking forward session to that and then yeah. finish by tea time. I think it'd be wicked. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's a good four hours of gaming. So yeah, that'd be awesome. And then you know, you relax and you come come home. You get Saturday night to watch a movie with the missus, whatever. Get blowy. If you're, yeah. You can edit that. Yep. Yeah. I think that's probably a good <laughs> idea. Yeah. Priest, mum. Nah, yeah. I'll keep it in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, such an old. I'm trying not to swear tonight. Yes, there's been about half a dozen so far. But Have I? Okay. Yeah. So, um, and Greg, what's Santa stuff in your stocking, mate? Yeah, I got a few bits and pieces. So a bit of sausage? Key thing was not sausage. <laughs> key thing was uh, Aristea. Boom. Boom. So, Boom. Yep, Santa brought it's me that. It's a nice box too. It's wicked, isn't it? Yeah, I like everything all about the components. it. Components. Although it took us 15 minutes to put it back together, because <laughs> I was trying to put, I was putting it in, and you like took it off me, and then you know how it goes, and then you were yeah. like jamming it in like a monkey couldn't figure it out yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I had to have a chuckle at that. <laughs> And anyway. I think we just got our bumper. There we go. <laughs> you were trying to put it in the box, and Greg was just took it off you and started jamming it in. He did. He did. He just jammed it right in there. <laughs> took him 15 minutes, but... Context is everything. Could have been a bit quicker. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a laster. And we actually had a, we had a crack at Aris there. We did. And much appreciated for that, because we, we went through the rules step by step. And, yep. um, is this post Connexio? Pre Connexio. Ah, uh, yeah, I think you mentioned that. Three weeks yeah, ago, that's right. Yep. Yeah, and I've yep. since had two games with the young fella. I had a game today. Beat me twice as well. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. Said to me, oh, said, I can't wait. Said, Dad, do you want to keep playing this game? <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, it's good. I'm, I'm okay with losing. It's like, he smashed me too. I'm, I'm, smashed I'm me glad up. you are because you know you get a couple again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were you playing green team again? No, we swapped it around. But okay. the only thing is we haven't been playing cards. So we've been playing yeah. a bit of a watered down version. So you are just relying on dice? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, without the cards, it's dice. Yeah, so that's so cards the change comes dice in. around and stuff yeah. today. Yeah. Mods. Yeah. So, but we'll we'll talk about it more in, in the review that we're going to do about it. Yeah, that's we're the first game we're going to review this year. For yeah. Eighteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I think can't wait to play. Yeah, it's, I'm going to smash her. Yeah, pretty um, well. <laughs> we are. Uh, <laughs> I'm practicing. You know, I actually bought a copy so I could practice, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not telling you. <laughs> I went home like Rocky. <laughs> 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 you <Yo>, Adrian <laughs> Catch that chicken Catch that chicken <laughs> That's it da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> I didn't swear oh, That's alright So Yeah so looking forward to that Playing you And um, It's also got Knights of Dice uh, Letters from Normandy Terrace House Kit Yep Piece of scenery So yep. I want to see how it translates to um, Alpha Bravo Charlie and see if we can use that because it's kind of like got that sort of Eastern European feel English, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. European yeah. feel. Yeah, so um, and so far I've put about two thirds of it together it's a, it's a full on kit. Like it's, a, it's a proper model. It's not like your normal MDF terrain where it's a box. A box pretty yeah. much, yeah. This is fully detailed interior. You know, we're talking you know, chimneys, this um, be what, house. Is, it's, is this what they're using basically for like bolt action and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't know the bolt action rules, but I imagine they would probably take that terrain a bit more serious. Those like yeah. the bolt action guys come across. Remember the flames guys? Whenever you used to see the flames at war tables, you're always like, "Whoa, that's." They took a lot of time and effort into the into yeah. their boards. The For bolt sure. action guys are the same. Well, this terrace, it's three levels. So you got your ground level first floor, and then you got a, an attic. Because they they all... use they use the terrain, don't they? They I don't know. I've never. They it. actually put the mo like actually use. Inside the buildings, for, yeah, for, yeah. for levels and, yeah. and all that. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, so this you can obviously take it apart, and it's very well 
designed yep. for that. Um, it's a it's a sensational kit. So, would you say it's equivalent to the way the foreground type buildings are? How they have the detailed insides and whatnot as well? I can't remember foreground. I don't I don't have any of their stuff. They usually got like you'll usually have internal stairs and yeah, and this the has walls got uh, yep, kind of internal stairs and all that yeah, sort of jazz. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's it's by far like I've got a lot of MDF terrain from Infinity, and it's by far the best. Yeah. You know, as far as details concerned, like I said, it's a proper it's a proper model. You know, oh, it's you just like like Urfix or you know, Italia or whatever, you know, those your plastic kits. Might need a, this might is, need a, a review. This is the same except MDF, yeah, so I'm very definitely. impressed with it. Mm. Um, yeah, so, so got that. That's nearly complete. Um, and also, just after Christmas, I think it was, uh, the Luxumbria busts arrived from um, Luxumbria, of all people. These are really good. Yeah, so I got the Tiger Soldier and Joan of Arc busts, which are from the Infinity line. First ever busts uh, I've ever got. I thought it's about time I um, yeah Branch, branched out. Yeah, did something different from for painting rather than painting little you know uh, toy soldiers. Paint something with a bit more substance. I like that he he's you are full balls deep in Infinity to the point where he's getting busts. Yeah, for Infinity. Yeah, like it is literally Infinity Infinity ball games Infinity busts. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a lot of busts you can get. Yeah, I know. And I do get <laughs> painting magazines that do yeah. sell busts. Do you get the figure... Is it the Figure Painter magazine? Figure Painter magazine. Yeah. And yeah. even though they do reviews and it's you know pretty much crammed full of busts, it never interests me. But these just, you know, obviously... You, you like that. So push you push like my that. buttons. So I yeah. thought, you know, why not? So I've got to say, after looking at... Um, what's it? The Tiger Soldier bust. Um, the components to that, they are crisp. Yeah, very neat, very nice. So I don't know if I've never gotten a bust before. Um, we, we were talking, me and you, Greg Star. Um, I don't know if usually the busts are usually of a higher quality with the plastic resin, like, you know, but these are there's there's nothing to tinker with. They're just, no, they're yeah. done. Pretty much glue them up and off you yeah. go. Yeah, like you are literally painting, gluing, and that's it. That's you're it. not you're, having you're to um, shave anything off. Or, no. Yeah. So something to look forward to. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to do it, but it's I've got them at least. And really quick turnaround from the Kickstarter. Like I can't remember exactly when. It might have been the middle of last year, I think. Um, but to get the busts, you know, I'm, I'm stoked. Whereas mm. the Infinity RPG, however, I'm still waiting on my gear, and I'll probably it'll probably be middle of this year before I get it. I imagine. If, if you're lucky. If I'm yeah. lucky. Yeah. Do, do you reckon these would be good to do post CanCon? Uh, what do you mean? Well, I'm just he, he, like. So, you're getting ready for CanCon, you're mm. painting for CanCon, playing games for CanCon. Is there a, once you finish CanCon, you can kind of just go... Yeah, I'm hoping Infinity. for that, because I'm a bit... Um, I'm a bit over it. I, I can play my board, Aristea, yeah. and paint a bust. Yeah. Yeah. You're still, yeah. you're still, Decompress. You're still in Infinity, yeah. Yeah. but you're just... No, I agree. Like, I've even thought of that myself. Like, um, and like, to be honest, we haven't even played a lot of games of Infinity leading up to CanCon, certainly not as much as the previous can, uh, CanCon. Whereas this time around, it feels feels a bit rushed and a bit sort of oh you know oh hang on a second we've got to punch in so get wait the games up. done. We, how long have you got like less week than and a half weeks yeah 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 so um, it's not it's not like I'm burnt out at all but it, I think a break would be nice after CanCon yeah you know you play I've, five games in a weekend and then you're like you know what I'll just down tools I'm seeing this you mm. all over it like have a crack just chilling out at the coffee on the coffee table just yeah airbrushing. To your fucking heart's content. Yeah, I hope so. Hope so. So yeah, so I'm, I'm stoked with them. Really pleased. So s- Christmas was great. Great. What are you all frustrated about? What are you getting annoyed about I over there? I tried not to swear. They just boom. Dropped an f bomb. Just well, at least it's not thirty. You know, by the stage normally you're. you're I need it. You know what? In double figures. Do you know what I need? I need a little bit where I can just go fucking shit fuck cunt fuck 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 right good to go again yeah we have that it's called the podcast oh <laughs> yeah. It's a, yeah yeah right fuck shit fuck 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 cunt fuck fuck I've got Tourette's no you haven't <laughs> you're just vulgar <laughs> yeah that's it no you can't blame me that's not the way the world works now it's not All my right. fault it's gotta be something else right I've got Tourette's okay fuck shit cunt fuck 
But yeah, looking looking forward to. We just mentioned earlier, Q and K have got the first open day on on this Saturday coming, which is the twentieth. <sighs> yeah, working. So, uh, of course, you're working. So yeah, looking to get some games in on Saturday. You guys would be crazy not to be booking in a bunch of yeah. Infinity games. Uh, I I can't. Oh, Toha, he look, he's just so confident uh, in yeah. the brokenness that is Toha. Um, cause we've got the stuff on the mo- in the morning and Are then you, afternoon you, and then I'm out all day Sunday doing a barbecue, American barbecue cooking class. So, on, so you can't what? do Saudi Avo? You can't do Saudi Avo? Not if I want to have your American do other bar- things. <laughs> right, gotcha. Uh, that wink, weekend. Wink, nudge, nudge, gotcha. Yep. So, um, yeah, that's been our, our summer, pretty much. I think we should probably just keep moving and jump straight into the news. Greg, what do you reckon? Ooh, okay. Let's do it. Yes, might be a bit of pendulum there for oh, you. Oh, yeah. yeah. That shoulder roll. Ooh, 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 oh, oh, oh. damn. You'll <laughs> so be bringing pingers next week. <laughs> yes. Contro- Reach for the lasers. Controversial ones straight off the bat. I should say, actually, Controversial. from a news point of view, it's been quite quiet, given that it's been almost two months. Six yeah, weeks. Christmas, Christmas period. I know, totally. Yeah. That's exactly why people shut down and close down and, you know, take a break. Yeah. So, uh, not not lots in the news front, but uh, let's kick off with, like I said, controversial ones. So, Warlord Games... They brought the new samurai. <gasps> you and put I, that in there. Oh yes! And I can't believe neither of you two have bought any. Oh, just specifically Jacob. Do I know? Mate, I've said for six months now, I'm not buying another mask. But they're samurai. <laughs> so you buy it? I probably will. <laughs> <laughs> I got my Empire Army. I got the Brotherhood Army. I got my ogres there. I, I do not need another mask. But I didn't hear yet. the word. Samurai in that list at all. They're freaking samurai. Uh, and what rules would I use for them? Kingdoms of men from King's historical. It's in there. Yeah. What samurai or yeah. or just they got samurai in there. Got samurai. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. in there. Do it. <laughs> Do it. I'm not doing it. Do it. <laughs> they are nice models though. They have the freaking very lovely, nice aren't they? Yeah. yeah. All really plastic good. too. And anyway, honestly, if I was in the market for another mass oh, no. army. I'd probably, I've been, but I've been looking at them for so long, probably get and I kept army, putting actually. it off to the back burner. Mm. And but Warlord, oh, here's a box of it, and you're like, oh, that is so much harder to resist. It's a big box. You know what I would buy before that? <laughs> I would buy a Napoleonic army. I'd get my Brits. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Please don't hump my dining table. Oh. <laughs> You know how many times I keep looking at Napoleonics? I'm constantly looking. I'm going, oh, but isn't the rules? Oh, the but look at the samurai. Like, trying to get a decent rule set. No, the problem is I painted five red coats and wanted to off myself afterwards. <laughs> and you have to paint a lot. <laughs> yeah. So you're talking 200 odd infantry miniatures. No way. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot. To get a, like wow, a, a 28 mil. Yeah. Holy cow. But they, it looks so good when it's know. done. Mm. Maybe. Do you know what else looks good? Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Fallout miniatures. Oh, okay. I haven't been keeping up with this one. I, have, I don't think I've shown you this, and I'll, I'll put it on uh, Facebook for the listeners. So, um, they've released their Wave 2 um, sculpts, yeah. and they've released the next exclusive, well, not exclusive, the next big thing they're going to do. So, what I'll do is I'll just... Holy shit. Right. So, that's, oh, the, wow. that's your, your standard dude. Yep. That's your guy in Power Armor. Yep. That's a super mutant. That's the okay. Deathclaw. Oh, yeah. That's a super mutant behemoth. He, Holy yeah, he's just... shit. <laughs> so you see the creep there. What they're releasing is they're releasing Liberty Prime. Now, if you don't know the Fallout universe, Liberty nope. Prime was a giant robot the US government built to fight the communists. Oh, right. Okay. That's yeah. a good plan. Yep. Oh, you're kidding oh, get me. Out. How tall is that? That's going to be like a metre high. I don't know. That's all they've released. So, when you see the image, you'll see that the Super Mute Behemoth, which is, according to the scale here, what's that? 15? 70, 80, 90. 90 mil to the head. 90 mils to the head? Yeah. Comes yeah. up to the shin yep. of a Liberty Prime. Just shy of the knee. 
90 mil. All right. So is this on a six by four fought. board or something? Yeah, this it one is? would be yeah, cool. getting to the big. And they say, it'd be yeah. like the big ships in X Wing. You know, you know, you don't actually or use them in the in the um in the game. They're kind of more of a cent- centerpiece. Or do you a, know what that is? That's your bust. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. you know, that's your bling. But yeah. it, and it's fan service too, because yeah. like to get Liberty Prime. It's like so. He's this he, giant robot. He's got nuclear missile launches. Of and course, he does. Gatling lasers, and he shouts like "Death to the communists!" Yes, and all that red. sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. He's your pathetic ideology will never last. That's and all this right. sort of stuff as he's like stomps <laughs> around the battlefield. Cool, because I don't know nothing about Fallout. Neither do I. So it's really but interesting. I'm liking it by that. Yeah, that yeah. I'm like, I'm liking it. So yeah, super oh, keen for that. I bet. What I've been doing, I've actually got onto um, uh, China Mart. And found a whole bunch of um, diecast, like nineteen fifties vehicles. Oh right, I think I'm gonna say something else. Oh, to go with the to go with the setting because yeah. it's all because it's like retro future. Yep. Yeah. So like all that old Chevy Bel Airs with big flared spoilers That's and wings awesome. and stuff. And so I'll get so there it and is trash a post apocalyptic type world, right? Yeah. So yeah. basically, the the it's w- been a world of Fallout is that the transistor was never invented. Yep. So everything's still all like vacuum tubes. Yep. So they've got all like modern technology, but it's just instead of the transistor leading to the the microcomputer and that sort of stuff, there's vacuum tubes and and nuclear reactors. So cars are powered by nuclear reactors. And that yep. sort of stuff. So. But there's been a, is it is like a an apocalyptic type world. Yeah, and right? it's there after has been an arm. There has been a new 200 form. years after yeah. the bombs dropped, kind yep. of thing. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So set That's like, why you got the mutants running around yeah, and whatnot. 20, 2270 Fallout set in. Fallout right, Fallout okay. Yeah. Have you put your uh, your amount in yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm locked in. Like proper locked in? Oh, proper just, locked in. Yeah. 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 All right, okay. so what did you spend? 500. All right, and do you get... Is he part of that pledge? No, he's not... Released yet? Uh, okay. Yeah. I reckon it'd be five hundred just for him. Yeah, that's on. Be, it'd, it'd be yeah, I don't know how much you'll be. But say so, five hundred. It sounds like a lot, but it's it's fifty minis plus a big terrain piece plus a three. Yeah, there'll be value, game, man. There's yeah. definitely value there. Yeah. It just makes you when you're having to make that that purchase and you're thinking, oh, yeah. But then the rationale can kick in. Yeah. And and justify it. And I, it's pretty much spent all my um, uh, leave loading. Bonus that I got from work on it, so I just dropped that. Yeah, yeah. You, you worked hard last year. I mean, yeah. that's, that's only fair. Yeah, I did, yeah. Jerry Lee. I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like she's listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice ice cream, by the way. Yes. Delicious. Yeah. Your Mrs. Cook's freaking awesome. Yeah. She she's does good dessert. Yep. I'll give you that. Yep. Oh, that was a bit of a. A backhanded compliment. Yeah, that's like, be the first. It's almost like you're talking with. about Mantic for a second. I was like, "What the hell is going on here?" <laughs> oh, don't compare my wife to no, Mantic. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> anyway, okay. Next from Warlord Games, and this is another one for you, Muddy. Is it? Is it? Gangs of Rome. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, that one's got. Me so is it a game? I didn't read too much. I saw the miniatures one. Well, oh, you'd be interested in this. It's it's going to be like a. Uh, it's not going to be obviously a six by four. It'll be a, a small like a. I'm assuming like a three by three type skirmish thing. game. Yeah, they've Flavor got of the, they've of got the month. they've got terrain, very Romanistic terrain to go with it and whatnot. Um, I'm just waiting to wait till it all sort of set the dust settles on it all. They've got so much going on over yeah, there at the moment. Yeah. With that in, uh, is it Test of Honor with the Samurai skirmish game? Yeah. Uh, Blood Red Skies mm-hmm. yeah, with the yeah. aerial combat. Like, they just don't quit. Stop, yeah. You know, they've still got the Gates of uh, Aniris or whatever. Antares. That's, yeah. Antares. Antares, that's always bringing out more and more releases. So, I really like Warlord games, but it's, it's it kind of those... worries me that they're kind of getting too big too quickly and too, too many games. I don't think they're quickly... I, They've been around a while. They've been around for a while. And and you think that bolt action be carrying for sure. Yep. But it's their forty K. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they can do all this other shit because bolt action just keeps ticking the minis yeah. over. Yeah. Oh, and the historical like guys the historical stuff does would be making a mint for those guys. Yeah. Like historicals doesn't seem very big over here, but I think in overseas, over the yeah. other side of the pond, historicals is huge. Yep. Yeah. So you know, I think that kind of taints our vision a little bit sometimes. I remember we... reading, uh, there was a painting magazine where the dude, it was a commissioned painter, and he said if he just painted Napoleonic's yeah. historical miniatures, yeah. he's he would have a constant, like he could paint to like 65. Yeah. But he just couldn't bring himself to do it. He would just, he just couldn't, he couldn't do it. As I said, I tried painting five of them. 
But yeah. he said there's that much work there. He said it's just huge. There's a huge market for it. But he just couldn't. He couldn't do it. Yeah. So yeah, obviously there is. Well, you need so many of them done. Mm. Um, but in in that, they're very. The impression I'm getting because I haven't painted any yet though is they do try to design the miniatures so there's not too much to yeah. have to do. Yeah. You know, it's not like you, you know, like it's not like an Infinity model. No, well, yeah, or it's your G Dub models or anything like that. Yeah. It's literally here's your pants. Isn't yeah, it like you, your... you get like if say if you bought twenty models, you'd get three sprues of five identical ones. Yeah, so, and then like yeah. your front rank basically. Yeah, the rest so, are pretty much either. Yeah. It depends on what pose. Like yeah. some are like yeah, like G Dub used to do. Yeah, it's very much your command like that. group, and then everyone else is just a pleb. A pleb. Yeah, yeah. So you touched on it already, Muddy. You didn't actually mention specific. Did I? Names. But FFG have got some new releases. Now, I'm not going to mention Legion because that's actually not released yet. Yep. That's not a game system. We're going to talk plenty about Legion this year, I have a feeling. Yeah, I think so. Um, Armada. Yeah, they've got some new ships. Yeah. Uh, they've got some new ships about to drop, but then they've yep. got another. They've just released another bunch. That so are, I've got here the Chimera. The, yeah, and uh, Profu- Profundity yeah, or whatever? Yeah, the Profundity. Yeah, that's the one. Profundity. Yep. Did, so you, did you, did they're the ones you bought? No, those are still not out. They're not out yet. Okay. No. So the the Chimera or Chimera. Yep. That's the Imperial, not flagship Imperial. What it's it's the one. Is that the one that Thorn Thorn Thorns on Thorn Thorn? Yeah. Yeah. It's got a cool design on the and the profound top of it. Did, did, that one is the the fish guys. Yeah. Rogue. Yeah. Rogue One. Calamari in, dudes. Featured in Rogue One. Apparently. Yeah. 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 The, the um Rebels one. flagship. Yeah. yeah. So. They look cool. I oh, know. They, they I love the, uh, the Imperial one. That it reminds me totally, sick. completely thrown at 360, but because we're talking um, Armada, I'm going to get a 3x3 three three space mat soon. Yep. You want to have a, like, pick a knight and play it at Connexio? Shit, yeah. yeah. Yeah? You down for that? Yeah. Well, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They're, They're freaking amazing. Sick, not? Yeah. I, love the, I love the design. All right. It. Let's, we'll book that in because I think that'll be cool to sort of just get out well, and play a bit They do Thursday that. night. They do Yeah, Star they do Wars. Um, a, a Thursday night Star Wars thing. So yeah. I'm not saying it has to be a Thursday, but every just, I don't know, once a month or something, we'll head down because I had a really good time down at Connexo. Yeah, it was cool. The other night. What was the game we played? Curious Humans. Curious Humans. That was fun. Now, what was the sales pitch? It was like it was... Um, it was... Uh, Cards Against Humanity... With have you ever icebreakers yeah. is what it was. and he said it was a, and it was, it was like an icebreaker, icebreaker. yeah yeah because he's many have you ever and truth or dare I think yeah the ones he said yeah. and it's very clever in that I, this isn't a review we're not reviewing it but oh unless you wanted to later but the, how the cards are, are color coded so if there's pati- a particular type of subject you don't necessarily want to be yeah discussing so for our listeners if you haven't checked out basically is um it's a you, Brisbane um guy right. Yeah, I think it was he developer. Yapoon? It was from. I don't. Know. Oh, he's anyway, in Queensland. yeah, Queensland. Queensland. Okay. So basically, you play a card and it has a statement on it, and um, then you play a card face down that says true or false, and people around the table have to guess whether it's true or false for you. So it might be like I prefer Star Wars to Star Trek, and so that was literally one of. Them. I would yep. play true because I prefer Star Wars, and Muddy and Greg would have to go. Oh, geez, does he what? And then if Which I is can a pretty easy one. trick yeah. half of them, yep. then I get the the card basically. Yep. Yeah, you win the trick that way. But uh, yeah, as Muddy was saying, the, like the categories were the red ones were where you're starting to get a little sexual. It was sexy time. Yeah, yeah sexy, sexy time. time cards. And then there was um, just some uh, there was some general sort of I guess c- kind of political questions in there. If so, yeah, you didn't, political like, would be the right. Uh, ones. They're blue. We won't talk about them now, but say that the flag burning one came up. Yeah, the controversy. I think the blue there ones. might have. That's was there a, yeah. a abortion, abortion might have come one, up? Yeah. Things, so, there's the, but they're interesting to see what other people's opinions are. So, yeah. he was saying, like when Wes, Greg said, Wes was saying, Wes, yeah, um, that they possibly going to start using these sorts of things in possibly universities and, and colleges yeah. as a way of trying to get people to actually have discussions about things that mm. everyone's almost too scared to actually mm. discuss. Mm. And I thought like, it was very clever. Has Greg ever masturbated on public transport? That was one of the questions. That was one yeah. and and yep. and I got that incorrect. So did I. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> he tricked us on that one. He did. <laughs> Listeners, you can guess the answer. <laughs> Post your answers on Facebook. <laughs> and Greg will personally confirm via Snapchat. <laughs> hey, Greg's mum. <laughs> yeah, so no, it was, it was good. It was a fun one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good luck to them. They're, um, 
you know, local based company. So, yep, a very clever game. And uh, we're endeavouring to get in touch with them and bring you more news about uh, a local developer. Yeah, who's first of um, all. I believe there's expansions. Talking the expansions, I thought that was very clever too. Uh, Wes was basically saying that uh, the the card you can you can add additional cards via co- the color. Mm-hmm. So if there's certain areas, say you you're playing with the kids at home, which you could actually do if you took out certain colors. If you wanted to, to do the expansion, you could literally buy the colors that you were actually going to use, mm-hmm. rather than buying another whole deck of I guess of cards that half of them or even three quarters of them you might not be able to to actually use. So, yeah, yeah I, had, had to, I had a good time with that because yeah. we actually went down to play Aristea. That's right. And we ended up playing this and yeah. just yeah. having a good time. It's like muddy dodging bullets in the Matrix there. You yeah. Go, yeah, I did actually. Thanks for that. Big shout out to Connexio. <laughs> yeah, thanks for getting me out of that. And Wes for and Wes, introducing yeah. Yeah. us to it. Yeah, so get, yeah, I had, and, the, and the meals were awesome. Beef burger, yep. it was brilliant. Tasting plate. Did look good actually. And a protein shake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so next up, gents. Very interesting one. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. So Mantic made an announcement that they're bringing out the Hellboy board game. Are, are you reading my notes? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wrote notes. So how interesting and you just is that? Copied them. Excited for this? Uh, so um, details in April, isn't it? Did mm. it say April? From interesting memory? I've got off memory. It's a board game they've come out and said. Now, mm. I wonder if that's going to be like a Walking Dead style board game where it's going to be. Scaled up, perhaps, or if it's well, they don't call be... Walking Dead a board game. No, board I don't. Game. I True. think it's going to be a board game. Mm. I think, it, yeah. Did it? Did it, it? Are they doing it? Or was River Horse? I didn't look that deep well, into it's, it. It's, well, whenever I did the look at the news, it said Mantic. Yeah, I didn't see yeah. River Horse anywhere. On okay, because mm. usually some of the other ones, uh, Labyrinth, oh, the chess uh, Shuro or something. Yeah, that's all River Horse, which is Alessio Cavatore. Complete speculation here on Ooh. my part but there's a way I read it was that they've signed an agreement with Dark um, Dark Horse Comics and then they went on to say Hellboy now does that mean they've signed it with Dark Horse which means they've got they've got the whole Dark Horse Comics. gambit yeah to explore in which case that could be very very interesting I think they're very S- clever so <sighs> the, it was just the way it was worded I was just like oh the tip of the hat is that like they're going down the comic book Lane again, which yep. as we've they've sa- they're going to save a bunch of money because let's capture market. Most like less, market. most people are probably more inclined to have known the movies, yep. which are fed off the comics, and, and they save know, themselves. They're not dumb. The, if it's twenty eight mil, which it will be, you would think it's going to fit in. You know, you could don't have to necessarily you can buy the game. Great, don't like it. Well, guess what? You've got Hellboy miniatures, which I'm sure the way Mantic's going now with other. Systems, yep. they have really pulled the finger out with their sculpting well, and their miniature line. We, you, we saw the. I sent you guys the the links. Well, that to was the, the photos next, yep. to to Vanguard. Those miniatures look awesome. There's the the one Mr. Jizz. Yep. Uh, which is the ice elemental. <laughs> he looks like he was jizzed on. Yeah, I know it does, but like it I'm makes not sense. negative. Yeah, he, he looks like someone just. But splooged. once you know that it's a an ice just, elemental, you know it's snow. Just remember, like my mum and dad could be listening. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, well, just, he, that's what know. he called it. Yeah, well, I know that, but you know, Sorry. supporting the What do you news? call jizz in, in Ireland? Is there like, is this a regional thing? I think is, they, are you worried they're not going to get what yeah. we're talking about here? Yeah, let's just let's just say it one more time, shall we? Just jizz a mistip. Yeah, there you go. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Looks like he's copped the froth off the Guinness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that is nah, it's just that's unnecessary. Anyway, no. so I I think the scops are pretty freaking amazing. If they turn out half as good as what those uh, renders oh, I think are. I think the Hellboy ones, I mean, if you're going to be Dark Horse, you're not going to turn around and say... You know they're not going to want some cheap um, alternative. It's going to be it's going to be the biz. Well, the Walking Dead stuff. I don't think yep. anyone's ever complained about the Walking Dead mm. Dead stuff. No. Nah. After seeing the Vanguard stuff, was there any complaints from what you saw of that? I I didn't have any. I don't think they're going to have any problems with no. this one either. So yeah, kicking goals, Mantic. I think at this stage they're just throwing they're just throwing frisbees everywhere. Yeah, good. I'm on. just flicking through Dark, Dark Horse's Horse. catalog. Yeah, I'm not seeing lots of. Necessarily, no, Massive lots of household names. Not necessarily any sort of stuff that you could go on its own. A lot of it's like Batman versus, or there's the Star Wars comics there, or Dark Horse, of course. Um, they did Aliens, I know that. Sin City stuff could be interesting. Uh, yeah, Aliens. So Sin City would be cool. Judge Dredd versus Aliens. Ooh. Um. Yeah, I mean, some interesting things in here. Um, I wonder if that 
is a but possible it, one way of getting it, around things. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, yeah, she'd get it. That'd be interesting. She'd get it. I, yeah, because Jutra is owned by a different... Dark Horse don't own Jutra. She's on another miniature. <laughs> Sorry? Look <laughs> <He's fast. laughs> <He's just>, ah. <laughs> uh, Yeah. Dark I can't Horse wait till your mum calls up. Don't. <laughs> Have no fear of that. Have no fear of 300 that. 300 was Dark Horse, published by Dark Horse. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! There you go. That could be cool. That, Leonidas at the gates of the Hot Gates. Yeah, and think of the Persian models. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the weird little... How they had all the... They come across very demonic and... Oh, yeah. that's, that's a cool that, movie. Oh, well, that the movie that's, 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 come, yeah. the character design comes straight from the comics. That's straight out of the comics. That's yeah. That's so what, you know, what I mean. What I mean is that yeah. movie itself is a cult. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's such a benchmark movie. But they're, they're getting around like they're getting around it. Yeah. They're not going to the movie, to the movie guys, license. and yeah. saying, "Hey, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. going to the source." That's right. Shit, I'm this so uh, forty-seven Ronin. <gasps> wait again, up. the limited Ooh, series. Wait up, wait, wait. Is this a is this a massive tick in the box from Jacob? Romantic. It depends what they do. It depends what they do, though, doesn't it? Yeah, he'll love it. Years. He's gonna be. Look at him. He's, look at him. He's, he's trying to fight it. But Hellboy's he's, a big one, though. He's Hellboy is a big one. Yeah. No, I've never read any Hellboy comics though. Three hundred's bigger. Yeah, near by. Three hundred. If they've bought out a three hundred, three hundred. Ronnie cool. Renton. Three hundred. Get it sorted. Get on it. <laughs> well, do we? get Greg to send him a tweet. We'll try and hit him. Oh up for yeah, a, send him the beer snake and put yeah. three hundred on the tip of it. Yeah, okay. Evil Dead. Oh, man. <laughs> He's in it. Here we drop a 500 large. So, Ghost in the Shell. Was that published by Oh, no really? way. So, yeah. Yeah, it was. have just done the, redone those movies, right? Speaking of which, watched it last night. Ghost in the Shell with uh, Scarlett Johansson. And I really liked it. I only seen, I've only seen the the original Magma... Mag, 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 magna? Yeah. Video. Manga. And man- oh, God, thank you. Um, but, geez, that was... Trippy stuff. Oh, a long time ago. Yeah, no, I, I've seen that. We've got the DVD of that at home. Yep. But, like I said, I watched the movie last night, and I was actually impressed with it. A lot of people were If you're into... Yeah, but they're the, I think they're the more the original... Yeah, fanboys okay. of Ghost in the Shell. Whereas, you know, I'm not. I'm just. It's just a thing to watch. Sorry, I'm just. I'm just deleting all my notes because someone keeps uh, <laughs> stealing them. But I have to say, if you're into anywhere like into sci-fi or sort of, you know, yes, yeah, sort, of, sort of sci-fi punk type stuff, it's a movie you got to watch because yep. it was just. It was just porn all over it. It was amazing. It was just so. I'll good. have to go check like it the, out. The visual, the cinematography, yeah. and the and the CGI was, was just really good. amazing. Yeah. yeah, the way they did the, the sort of New Tokyo or or whatever city it's set in, it just blows your mind. You just go, wow. I really liked it. Okay, yeah. cool. I thought it was a pretty cool storyline too, the way they yep. did it. All right. It sort of introduces that whole um, anime level. You're going to review, get a, get a throw some dice at it? I would say four out of five. Four, four dice? Yeah. Oh, yep. nice. Yep. Pretty good. I would certainly watch it again. That's better than Necromunda. <laughs> <laughs> I also saw Dunkirk as well. What did you think Both of that? Times. I'm going to give it a buck and a half. I'm, I didn't like it. I'm, I'm glad I didn't go to the cinema to watch it because yeah. the hype was like best movie ever. It's going to be it's like Oscar performances and all that sort of crap. I didn't even finish it. But I I was just like, oh, really? Like, it's a good movie and you get the tension of, of, of what's happening. I didn't even finish it. Yeah, but, you know. So that's a buck. Mm-hmm. One dice. I gave that one dice. It's worth seeing, but I wouldn't go item away to watch yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'd give it three. Mm. Yep. Three out of five. You haven't seen it, have you? No. No idea what we're talking about. Don't worry. You, you don't Typical. need to see it. Have you, oh, ask Google. Ask Google what she thinks Have you seen the new Star Wars movie? I have seen the new Star yeah, Wars movie. Okay, yeah, okay. Cool. I you going to ask me whether should I've seen Aliens yet. Should we, should we talk about it? You can't. No, no. People, you'll ruin it for other people who haven't no, seen it yeah, yet. Oh, so who hasn't seen it? Because we'll it's been like months now. We need a spoiler special. I think so. so. You, if you spoil it for people, well, I don't care. You can. No, I've already got the gist. Of, you spoil. I'm not gonna. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil. You it for will get snooze. death threats it on blew, your tweets, mate. <laughs> it did blow my mind that Jar Jar was Ray's father. So. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say something about Ray. Well, should we say no? Spoiler alert. We're gonna talk about it next cast. Next cast, we will be talking yeah? about. Oh, right, I'm happy to do alert. that. I'm happy yeah. to do that. You've got to watch it. Oh, don't you tell me what to do. All he right. hasn't even seen Aliens. I know he's useless though. I've right? seen Alien. No, but this Aliens better. Yeah, it's, well, it's amazing. 
Right, well, we last night I watched the entire series of Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. What? Yeah. The hell is that? This is why he doesn't it's have good TV for anything. He just sits there watching this pus. I know. Like, come on. Anyway, all right. All right. No idea what that is. <laughs> um, so, from the big manufacturers, G-Dub, to be honest, I didn't see a lot on their radar over well, the past they would have, few weeks. They dropped um, Necromunda. They dropped Necromunda for yeah. And was there a new... Yeah, it's Nurgle. It's Nurgle stuff. The Nurgle stuff. Nurgle does nothing for me, so... Yeah. I didn't pay it. And one thing I did see, which, which was interesting, was the um, they did release the no glue required sets. So that was on my snap fit. feed. Yeah, snap I think fit. I might pick up a snap fit Redemptor. Is that the big dreadnought? The big dreadnought. Yeah, you've already got one of them, haven't you? Yeah, but I need two. You need and two. I think we could have a snap fit and see just just how to case, it goes. Yeah, just, just, to go just to do a review for the yeah, podcast. Yeah, do a review. Gotcha. That's a podcast. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Take one for the team. Yeah. Yep. Love it. And it comes. In blue plastic as well, so I don't even there need to prime the sp- it. There you go, <laughs> it's done. Hey, have you got more? Have you got more news? One more thing, because oh, right, I, I, I might, I might actually have some left one, after you're done. One more thing, it's, listeners. This is the first time Muddy's actually rocked up with some notes. Yeah, and he's he's just burnt me. Oh, he's had notes before, but this this one's aren't it was extensive. In, there was like <laughs> five points in it. They're not written in crown. So, <laughs> <laughs> so last point Sorry, was uh, that's all right. War Cradle, who just... Uh, oh, he's just killed another one. <laughs> he just... <laughs> I thought I had this. <laughs> he took over Dystopian. There, um, you can actually register for the uh, free edition of the third edition rules. I'm registered. Are I was you? Say it. No, because I was hoping that you would be. Yeah, Spider-Man rocked Sweet. up at my place. He got photos together and he... Um, yep, he When's that going to come out then? I don't know. There's no... I haven't seen anything, any dates or anything in regarding to that. So in regards, I'm assuming to the miniature that you're going to talk about the that imperial um, yep. carrier, freaking amazing. Mm. But I want to see some rules because I think this is going to be a hot I'd one be, this yep. year. It's going to come out this year. There's no doubt. It needs, from what I've seen from the old Spartan games, bloody hell, it needs some rework because the way Spartan used to write rules, it was hard. Yeah, work. I found it hard. Really yeah, there's hard a lot work. of diehards that would probably say, "What are you talking about?" Blah blah blah. I I yeah, it personally, hard. and yeah. I, I've said before, I found this one of those systems that I always just used to put on the back burner. Yeah. But I reckon this year, if they drop this and the rules are semi good, streamlined, is streamlined, I reckon they're going to hit it out because if anything to go by with that that miniature that they've they've released or re- are releasing is to go by. Yeah, it's on. And it was a big, this miniature is a big aircraft carrier, but it's on an iceberg, I think. Yeah, it looks like it's on an iceberg. It looks like it's on an iceberg, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. and it's the Prussians. Yeah. Yeah. It looks amazing. Yeah, and that's, that's, I'm all about the Prussians. Yeah. So, bring it. Yeah, fingers so you, crossed. Thanks, thanks for that. You just ruined that one as well. So what well. else you got, Muddy? I got That's me. I've actually got three. Whoa! Yeah. Right. So for the kings, you got uh, the new cards. They're bringing out all new cards. I oh, that's you stole so, that from me. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so I, I had all the kings of war news. Shit! How good is this though? Um, bringing out cards that basically going to be for how you actually play the game. So it'll be changing like be scenarios and changing things as well. Right. That's what they, I didn't so understand. That they've already can. released. Um, Cards for all your magic items, spells, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. We're talking cards, see? That's the latest fashion. They're bringing them out to change the way the game is actually getting played now. That That's coming out. Because um, I, I really liked... Oh, I made up for 8th Ed Fantasy when we used to play the missions on cards. Yeah. And you just chuck with that, your magic cards and yep. and you like bang down the mission. It makes life so much easier. Yeah, I, yeah. I think everyone's starting to embrace... And Mantic's obviously seen the... Sh- the writing and going and going with it as well, which is good mm. to see. Even the magic items and the spell cards, I think, was one of the. You know, it's almost like you're playing Eighth Edition now with you got the cards. Mm. And I think they're embracing that. And I think it's a good thing. It's just streamlines it. You don't know what something does. You flick the card over to it. You know how to pull reference. the rule book yeah. and yada yada. I'm all about quick reference. Um, Cock eighteen, Clash of Kings eighteen. The the supplements coming out uh, oh, yeah. end of this month. So that'll be the new updated changes. If there's any, like small little tweaks here, probably some new scenarios, yada yada yada. So that'll probably come out digital. It hasn't been released. Just make sure when you search that it's C O K. Yeah, it's it's the it's the running joke with Kings players, you know, yeah. the old cock. Um, now the, I had to save this to the end. I think I've already put it on Facebook, but I've got to bring it up. Team Kings, Total Warhammer Two. Come on. No. Is it good? It looks amazing. They've actually released the gameplay now okay. for, for it. So you can actually see the Sphinx's 
jumping into combats and stuff. It looks freaking amazing. That yeah. is pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You have to show it to me before I get excited about it. Well, it comes out at the end of this, uh, the 24th of this month. Yeah. So you and DT are going to wreck some poor little oh, kids around the world? I cannot wait. Little, I'm just going to child sit tears. Back. I'm just going to sit back going pew, wreck, pew, pew, pew. Wreck people's hobby. It's going to be tomb guards. These two keep What happens if they, if they go like true to 8th set though? And Tomb Kings are shit. <laughs> what if they're like really underpowered? I don't. I don't think they are. I think. The, I think with Total Warhammer, to, like with this series, yeah. they are complete. They're their own. Everything is its own beast. It, it truly is. Um, so, ne- what necessarily was a really bad or good unit isn't necessarily the same in this game. So, it's, but it's also Total War games are famous for power creep, though. They bring out no, the latest I, armies and the more powerful, so you got to buy well, them so I don't you can know. get it even. We, I was we were playing with DT and he's still rocking dwarves. Dwarves were in the first first game, first release. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. It's you're still going to get rock paper scissors. Hang on, it Dark is, elves. Yeah. It good. is DT though, the man that played 300 million games in one year. They might on not need age, to do it for age, yeah. Warhammer because people will buy it for the armies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas, all right, so I've got the Prussians and you're bringing out the Austrians. Why do I need the Austrians? Well, you need the Austrians because they have 160 men per unit instead of 150. Yeah. You know, that sort of stuff. So that's why you buy the Austrians. But Warhammer, you go, oh, fucking Tomb Kings. Yeah, guys. Yeah, I'm bringing the Tomb Kings, so. mate. Yeah. <laughs> Tomb King, like, I'm like a pig in shit right now because you've got, in the last short period since this second game's been released, I've got the High Elves, I've got the Lizards, and now the Tomb Kings are the first, first bit of DLC coming out. It's just like, there's my three, thanks. I don't need anything else now. Happy days. Yeah. So anyway, me and DT, DT, when you get back from Bali, bro, it's on. Nice. Dwarves and Tomb Kings. Actually, I wonder if they'll be evil, if they'll be considered evil. It doesn't really matter, you can do that anyway. (laughs) Fuck it, it's on. Cool, man. Yeah, that was my news. Thanks for letting me have three left. It's all right. It's my job as newscaster, bro. Yeah. That's it. He's got his finger on the pulse. Look at him deleting. Time for a cast update. Well, where we at? Well, 2018 is where we are. And I guess what's in everyone's radar for 2018? Well, should we talk about the show, 2018? Because we have a few little changes. Oh, that's that's your bag. Because oh, what changes are we talking about? More segment to the like, yeah. Bring that so up? last year we sort of followed the episode review, episode review sort of formula. But this year we're just going to sort of um, go with the flow a little bit more. Wing it, not wing it, muddy. This is why <laughs> we have a schedule. <laughs> but you know, we're not necessarily going to bust our ass to bring you a review every couple of weeks if we haven't played the games and that sort of stuff. So we want again. It all comes back to trying to give. The listeners, the best quality product. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, that, Greg. That is on the mission statement. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you think of the cast? How did you find the episodes last year when you sat down and listened to them again, Greg? <laughs> yeah, what's your mum said? Oh. Yeah. Mum hasn't mom has spoken to me for like six months. Yeah. <laughs> so probably... Since the rape dungeon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so basically we'll just we'll sort of just play it by ear. And so our, what we're going to do though is we're going to bring in a bit more uh, segments, um, a few more segments. So there'll be regular things that happen in an irregular space of time, if that makes sense. So we might not do everything every week or every fortnight, every month, but um, you'll, you'll know it when it happens. Kind Hang of on, you're talking about irregular segments? Irregular segments. Right, gotcha. There you go. And the questionnaire, you wanted people to start um, asking more questions to sort of, and we can do, um, how are we going to, how are you going to phrase this? You know, they were talking about the rapid, like more like asking just general quick questions rather than it being like a large topic. Yeah, I guess the other thing we really want is that the listeners get involved a little bit more too. And uh, when we know what we're going to talk about, we'll put it up on social media and um, call out for, you know, things you want to know or say if we're interviewing someone, if you've got questions for them or if you've got questions for us about the topic or stuff you want us to look at, just a little bit more, um, you know, interactivity there in the space for the listeners. Because some, some people out there might want to know what Big Mike has for breakfast. 
So <laughs> you can ask those sorts of questions, and we, the hard hitting journalists, <laughs> get the answers. Or how to cook your perfect kangaroo steak. Oh, who doesn't want to know that? <laughs> or how to make that delicious ice cream. Oh, yeah, that? for mm. sure. Curvature chocolate. That's and aren't we? Oh, um, aren't you know what we, we should do? Looking at. We should get the wives on for like a five minute segment one day. <laughs> Reckon? <laughs> yeah, Listeners, yeah, if you want to hear from our wife. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just said no, that. No, you can edit no. that. <laughs> I'm not married. <laughs> Disgraceful. Mm-hmm. And we're mm-hmm. also looking at giving away free stuff, aren't we? Are we? Via competitions. Of course. <laughs> Via competitions, yeah. You can't. We're not just going to give it out willy nilly, of course. Yeah. You're going to have to do stuff for it. We've got. What are you going to do? Well, we've got it. We're giving away a t shirt tonight. Are we? Yeah, really? it was on the fucking notes, man. Seriously. I was trying to... You wrote your own notes so you can read mine. I'm not right, trying okay. to make it... Oh, you were playing yeah. it up. It's like the steak knives, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and... That's so it. I'm walking out. This is it. This, this is show that, is incompetent. I can't hour. work with Get this. Get out of here. This. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> There's not even anyone to grope here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, there is, if you'd make the effort. <laughs> Sorry, Craig. <laughs> we'll, we'll try to be more accommodating next week. <laughs> oh, well, what there we, we go. What are rap song? <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear Greg's the buster right. <laughs> anyway, yes, sorry, back to the... I uh, don't even know, actually. Oh, do you want a count in? You know, we haven't done... We did not do a count in. I know, well, I was, that just took me completely by surprise. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Because well, we were just... fucking up all the time like, anyway. <laughs> we were just... <laughs> not. The intro. We were just rocking out to the intro. Yeah, so like, rocking out. Boom, into it. Straight I'm like, what? Yeah. See, these yeah. boys would have done a count in. They would have done a count in. Well, they would have. Do you want now, then? No, five, four. So, anyway, right. So, we're I just to... did it. Well, there's no point. We're two hours or whatever into the show already. You bell end. Yeah, what do you want? What are you talking about? What are we talking what about? What are we talking about? We are talking about the new direction of the car. Oh, gotcha, so yes. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of this comes back to, you know, talking to people. Uh, it's been really great having that conversations with our listeners and, and what people want from the show. Um, and yeah, we're just trying to, try to meet that. Good old feedback. Can't beat it with a big For stick. For the people. That's it. <laughs> um... And while we're talking about listeners and our supporters, we should probably shout out to our Patreon. That's a good Back point. That's a big shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in particular, uh, Josh Tooth. Yeah. David Triggett. Oh, yeah. Lucas Redshaw. Oh, what? And Gideon Lim. Oh, oh Gideon. Sick. Nice one. Backing us at that power stance Boom. level. Boom. That's how it's done, boys. They got the power. They got the power. Yeah. So, um, yeah, of, of the, of the backers, they're the, the most backinest. Most backinous. Most backinous. There you go. Yeah. That's, that's a new a word. word. That's a new word right it there. Is. I heard it in the Beastie Boys. <laughs> oh, oh, that's got to be real then. Oh, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 Beastie Boys. They, would, they wouldn't make it up. Nah, yeah. No chance. The next line was about an ass most smackinous or something. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that um, works. <laughs> yeah, let's do this rap now. I'm keen. Let's fucking do some get yoga into pants. It. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're doing yoga pants rap. <laughs> so, um, that's the thing. And yeah, that's the other thing with our, our Patreon. We want to this year look at rewarding the people that support us even more so we'll be looking to do a few more events for the local ones and um, find ways to engage with people you know who back us from all around the world so keep it up guys we really appreciate it cheers thanks dudes time for some random banter it's open mic. All right. So to finish up tonight, we'll just talk about um, 2018. The year ahead. The year ahead. What Here are we, we doing? Are. What's January our plans? And we've got a whole 11 months ahead of us. That's it. Which, if we do the math, is about 20 podcasts. Cool. So, muddy, schedule, lock it in. I'm locked and loaded. Wing it. What do you got planned, big fella? What's going to float your boat this year? Um, so, things that I'm looking forward to, hopefully this year. Okay, I'm hoping to play a little bit more of the historicals. Ooh. I'm hoping to play a little more Armadas. Uh, I'm 
hoping to see Dystopian Wars come out. That's a big one. I'm hanging for Legion. Really? Yeah, I think that's I think that's going to have some traction. I just got a feeling. Have that's... you watched any of the videos of like? Nope. No. Nope. Like nope. high two and high the battles. Nope. No. Nope. Nothing. Nope. Yeah, just going it's in cold. Kind of like with the 40k thing, I'm just going to go. You know what? I want to see it once it's all here. Mm. I don't want to do these little dribs and drabs. I just want to yep. play it. Um, some of the other games we're going to we're going to crack on with Malifaux. Shit, yeah. I just had literally got an email from um, my terrain man. Um, oh, really? He's had some issues, like uh, fraudulent type issues or something. So he's been on a bit of a hiatus. Um, but he literally emailed me today to say, "Do you still want this? I'm ready to crack on." And I was like, "Yeah, yep, wow." Crack on. So hopefully that won't be too far away. So I got hit up by a fellow who just moved to Brisbane. Looking to play more Malifaux. Well, as long as uh, he wants to, doesn't mind playing a bunch of noobs. Like yeah, us. we'll um, we'll tag in in the post and get you around sometime to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. school us. Because well, as I said in the message, him like we want to play more. It's yeah. it's hard to get a game of Malifaux. Yeah, Brisbane. it is, it is, and especially because we're not um, like we're not balls deep in it. Yeah. So like, we've, we've got like unlike this squeezer over here. And, yeah, look at you, Greg stuff. Yeah, Mister One Man One Man System. <laughs> Like, we like to play dip our toes in a few different little things. Like, yep. like we've been bouncing Napoleonics around. <laughs> I reckon once that's, a week for the past now. three months, I've said in the big group chat, yep. anyone want a game of Malifaux? And nobody's... And no one takes the tape. Yeah. Of course, they'd have to play me, which might, you know, be well, one of the reasons they don't want this, to do it. <laughs> this, going back to just before we were talking about the Saturdays at the QNK, this is a perfect outlet for that because you get you, you might be able to crack on depending on what time you get there obviously and what time they're going to have the shutting you might be able to play two or three different games of something absolutely that's in a bit more of a relaxed yeah. environment totally I'm like for example Saturday I'm hoping to get a game of Infinity in and hopefully a game of Ars Day in which should be a, a should be a problem because with the young fella today we punched out a game in about 30-45 minutes for a yep. full full you know, like full round full five turn game so should be a drama and just on um because we're playing on a what, a three by three with um Malifaux as well. Like that could be a Connexio night as well. Yeah, totally. I was quite surprised when we went down that last night, just how many people were essentially pushing miniatures around while they're eating and drinking and whatnot. Right. I, I, I had this feeling when we were first there that it'd be a bit more board games, card games, that sort of thing. But a lot of the board games have got quite Large miniatures. Yeah, that's, along with it. Yeah, most AAA board games now. Yeah, and have huge minis. And after seeing the photos of these Star Wars nights, where everyone's rocking X wings and Armadas, like we could actually play some of the like. Imagine we we could take a three by three down and play Armada. We we can go down and play Malifaux for a night. Gangs of Rome. We yeah. could probably do that, like little things like that. We'll yeah. just go meet up there, have some dinner. It's almost like we're doing well, two birds, it, one stone type it, thing. It's not the first time I've mentioned it, but the, the realms of board game and, and war game, tabletop war game, are getting blurred to the point of they're almost almost one. Yeah. Except for your pure board game, which is your monopolies and, you know, where there's no miniatures involved. But, but okay. certainly the ones that include the miniatures, it's just, you know, there's... there's if you were an external person looking at them, you would, you couldn't tell the difference. No, there was quite a few games there. Oh, oh they were playing um, Spartacus mm. at the table nearest the um, the server area. Yeah, um, little things like that. The um, Dark Souls board game. That was the one with the yeah. large like demon type. Yeah, yeah. I was kept looking over at that one as well. Well, certainly I'd be keen. Do you know much about Dark Souls? No. Oh man. No, but it's I... it, like it's it's one of the hardest games ever made. Yeah. And apparently this board game, when you get it, you open the box and it's got the you died screen. Like, oh, nice. And that's what you see when you open the box and it's meant to be, yeah. Yeah, it's very thematic. Just as hard. They've captured yeah. it. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that could be a cool, a cool little outlet. I'm certainly seeing that as, yeah, I'd like to play more of those type of games. Like I mentioned to you whenever we played Aristea that it's only really the second board game I've properly played, to be honest, like Zombie Side being the other one. Yeah. Mm. You know, I don't play board games. Simple. No, and that's not because of I don't like them. It's just I don't have the opportunity. I never had the opportunity. So yeah. I'd be keen to do more Connexio board games. Well, you know me. I love my board games. Mm. But not as much as computer games as we found out in our little mm. card game. Yeah. Mm. And that's come down to time spent. Yeah. Mm. So 2018, what's your plans? Yeah. Well, Fallout's a big one. 
mm. I'm I'm going to be all over that. So got one more to come in. So are you going to spend more than thirteen minutes per miniature when you paint them? Yes, I'm actually planning yeah. on trying. Yeah, trying. Yeah. How okay. are you going to fit in painting all your your red coats then? I'm not. <laughs> and, your, and your ultramarines, <laughs> although they're pre-painted. Yeah, snap fit, <laughs> pre-primed. <laughs> And um, your Orlocks, you got Orlocks. And your Orlocks? Yeah, yeah I got yeah. 10 Orlocks, that'll be... Yeah, we're going to have to... That's, a, that's, that's an evening. That is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll have to work that out. Um, yeah, so, and the, the minis I did get for Fallout, I didn't get heaps of Gribblies or anything like that, so they're all like survivors in ragtag clothes and stuff, so it's all paint dip. Yeah, it's going to be fairly straightforward. 18 is going to be a fun year, I reckon. I've got a feeling yeah. we're going to have a good time this year. Malifaux was high on the list. Yeah. More moderns high on yeah. the list. Yeah. Um, more board games also. So it sounds like just more gaming. Yeah. 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 Oh, and get um, Charge of Lages published. Oh, there you go. That'd be something. Yeah. By the end of the year, I want to get my card game what's, published. What's, you've, uh, what's it called? Charge the Lasers. Charge the Lasers. Charge the Lasers. Wicked. Yeah. It's, it makes you think of... Galactic diplomacy. When you think here, oh, I, was, I thought I, I just straight away thought of a nightclub. Reach yeah, for you the lasers. Would. <laughs> <laughs> you're still raving from the pendulum earlier. Yeah, so. it was awesome. And you played a dine and when you're in holders, didn't you? Yeah, well, that's the other thing about meeting up with family. Oh, so you, they all played it. Yeah, I had. They play had a testers. good time. Yeah, yeah, we actually got quite a bit of good feedback out of oh, it. Oh, nice. So. so some stuff that actually was constructive and actually assisted the process. Yeah, yep. awesome, awesome. Um. And my mum's a, a dog. Just don't negotiate with her, basically, is what that oh, comes right. down to, because she'll stab Boom. you in the back. I feel like another phone call might be coming. Yeah, up. I think so. <laughs> Hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> and my brother's a dog, and his girlfriend's a dog. Oh, wow. And so they're all about the win. My wife's they're a all dog, about and the win. Anyone that didn't let me win is basically a dog. <laughs> Let's just get that out there. <laughs> it's your own game, though. You gotta, you can't, you're not expected to win. Oh yeah. Oh he yeah he has yeah, to say says that the man he's is... got belted every week. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that's good. So um, so keen to get that Kraken. Kraken. It's just the artwork. That's where I'm stuck at the moment. Yeah, that's yeah. a big one though. Yeah. That's tough. So I think it might just go really super simple on on the first edition, and if it sells at all, then maybe do a second edition with better artwork later on. Who knows. Mm. I think that's the way to do it. Mm. I, I can't see dumping thousands on art speculatively. <laughs> Does it need a lot of art? Mm. We played a card game the other night. Had no art. Yeah, but that's just words. But it worked. It did what it needed to do. Yeah, you still want it. You still want. I some know you want something image because you're going for a thematic feel. Yeah, Especially, yeah space as well. But you don't need heaps. I think, you you need, I think you need to go crazy. Hmm. No. It's a clever use. Mm. But yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Mm. So that's me, 2018. Yeah, cool. Well, I don't really know, to be honest. That's an interesting one. I think I've mentioned it before. Connexio and more board games, for sure. We're yeah. definitely keen for that. More Infinity. More... Military orders. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Military orders. So the next tutorial for Pano. What? So I spent a year doing NCA. Oh my god. Which really was, wasn't was really 12 months, it was really 6 months because I did some painting competitions the first half, which held me up, and then the last 6 months I re-blasted them out. So I reckon if I pull my finger out, I could probably get um, Military orders all done in 6 months, which would be cool. So... If the Corvus Bell just released, they put the renders up. No, not the renders, actual miniatures of uh, the Hospitallers, which look sick. They do look sick, but muddy. They're on urban bases with tactical rocks. Of course they've got tactical rocks. That's it. Every... They've got urban themed bases with tactical rocks. Yeah. Really? I don't get it. I don't get it. They just and like these are, these are dudes in suits of power armor. Yeah. They don't need tactical. They haven't got delicate little ankles that they need to support. This is a legit. You're not using custom bases. Tactical rock. Yeah, I think I think they're being called out now, surely. Right? Yeah, it's, it's not it's an aesthetic beyond, thing now. A beyond the joke. No, I really like. It's come on, seriously, sick models. Like, really sick models. But okay. it's for a lot of people, or I shouldn't say a lot of people, for the. The, the people that are post on Facebook, certainly 
the general consensus is what a waste. Like it's just it really lets them down overall. Surely, because a lot of people want to do their own exactly bases. Like yep. exactly right. Is that Look, it doesn't it bother up? me because I, I own a, a a saw, a jeweler saw. So it's 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 a five minute job realistically to clean the rocks off. So it's not a big deal. Like whatever, it doesn't bother me one bit. And I can easily model to suit my scheme, um, the bases to suit. So it's yeah, cool. I'm cool. I don't know. But I can understand why yeah. people get upset. If if the models are that good, okay, whatever. Mm. But at least people are starting to see what it actually is. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so looking forward to that. Some military orders. Uh, once we get CanCon out of the way, more board games, and I guess Alpha Bravo Charlie. That's I've kind of let that go for the past six weeks, really, two months. So be keen to get back into that and try and get try and get stuff. Done trying to make headway. There's just so much to do with it. Mm. Oh. So um, I've got a company doing a website for me because I I got this grant from Queensland government just before Christmas, like four days before Christmas. Nice. Queensland government phoned me up and said, "Oh, you, do you remember that that uh, grant you put in?" I was like, "Oh yeah, kinda." I said you've been successful, so that I get 50% from Queensland government to do a website. But the flip side is, I'm I'm not even close to ready for a website not even like I'm about two years away from a website so I've got to come up with some things really quick a lot of people just use Facebook as a business page yeah they do know, so. yeah yeah so but anyway it's great look it's 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 positive it just forces me to pull my finger out and push it along quicker than probably where it should be at so but yeah so that's probably what I'll be up to nice can we talk about Muddy? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm done. I'm just, I'm actually just looking. At, um, I don't know how many people would be interested, but I actually just stumbled across a magazine, a free magazine, which has a lot of historical stuff in it, and it does seem to do some. Re- there's a, I haven't read it all yet. It's got a, uh, a Kings of, of historical review in there. It's called Warning, Warning Order. Um, that's the name of the magazine. It's by Games Club. They just do a magazine. It's free. Um, so just check it out. Have a look. I actually, it's, it's okay. It's free. Yeah. Chuck a link up on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I will. I, I think I, I stumbled across it on Facebook or something. I downloaded it, and it, there was nothing wrong with it. So they got. Well, I think it was episode, ah, uh, sorry, um, issue forty-seven or something. So there's a whole bunch right. of these things. So I'd have to go back and look. I think they got. So they have the like Napoleonics and all that mm. sort of stuff in there as well. So yeah. if any, any of those that are actually interested, there yeah, you go. cool. Mm. Sounds great. Yeah. All right. Greg. Nothing more for me, dude. Signing out. Muddy, you're good. I think we are. Looking forward to this year, to be honest. It's been uh, it's been a nice break. And looking forward to hanging out with you dudes, doing some reviews and playing some games and rolling some dice. It's going to be a fun year. I think it's going to be fantastic. The big ones. Oh. The big reviews for this year. I, I, I think I could call them a bunch of them already. I think it's going to be Dystopian. Hopefully. Legion. For sure. Oh, I can't wait for the one that I've got ready cooking away. Gonna love it. Yeah. You're gonna love it. Infinity RPG. I imagine we'll re- be reviewing. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. We'll was do that another in- Get Me to Play episode. In I'm not the near doing. A, I'm not doing Infinity though. Live RPG. Nah, I'm not doing that. Oh wait, I'm gonna get Greg to play Malifaux again too. I don't think we? that's what we were playing. Yeah, d- I, thought yeah. We, I thought we didn't agree on that. I, I think thought, we did. No, I don't I think, think we so. Did. Maybe everyone should uh, chime in. Yeah, yeah well, they they thought thought you want? So. who no, wants to the, hear Greg the, play no. Malifaux again? Well, you made us play Friendship Is Forever by Buddy, yeah, that My Pony Little game. Pony. I think you owe us one after that. I think he owes us three. That's oh. a Patreon exclusive he, he was review even right dre- there. He was even dressed in it, like so, like that's get stuffed. That I've never outfit. seen so much glitter painted yeah. on Star. It took me before. three weeks to get that glitter off me. Here's one for you. I missed this in the news. Wrote it down especially for you. Oh, did you? Yep. Successful Kickstarter. Uh, it was just just after Christmas. A game that you, I'm sure you would love to get this. We should probably do it for the review because you'd just be all over it. What? Called Kitty Quest. Where you have to successfully get what? your cat home safely from a night out. <laughs> Kitty Quest. <laughs> yep. On Kickstarter. <laughs> did you back it? No. Then Are it you back. sure? Vanguard. That's the other one. The other ones. I'm waiting for see how that. See, I'm out. interested in the theme because I've often tried to bring pussy home from a night out <laughs> safely. Safely. Yeah. You got to do it safely. Yeah, got to do it safely. That's where you're going wrong. Yeah. You can't just drag them by the hair. Ah, uh, okay. 
by the coat. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, social justice warriors. Yeah. <laughs> and another big one we've got this year. Your birthday. Uh, oh. Everyone's got a birthday this yeah, we, year. Your so, birthday's you know, a special, it's a special one, isn't it? Yeah. This is a special one. Yeah, yeah, it's all over. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. It's yeah. in two months' time. I don't know. Yeah. Big four zero. Boom. That's kind of why I can't Bam. go to CanCon. Well, Mrs. is turning 40, so she's got the big one. So I got a bit of a prize for her for that one, and uh, she better return the favour. <laughs> well, I think we're going to arrange something. We'll go out. We'll do something. I'm yeah. going to make you play Kings of War for like <laughs> <laughs> 20 hours straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect birthday ever. <laughs> you guys all hate me. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you, we'll get trashed. <laughs> and you gotta let me win too. <laughs> Sounds good. That'll <laughs> <laughs> be the best 40th ever. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> well, we might leave it there, gents. Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, great to be back. Again, thanks to all our Welcome Patreon back. backers. And if you love what we do and you want to keep doing it, us to keep doing it. Oh, Greg's pen lights up. Look at that. Oh, is that all it does? Yes, I was waiting and Martin might have had yeah, some no, snow. That's all it does. Fucking shit. It lights up different colours. <laughs> oh, that's I was gonna, I was going to think about switching lights off for us, but... It's no. a... It's, I, I'm sure it don't use the word anticlimactic, yeah, go. but... Uh, oh, it does have a little yeah, bit. Yeah, is, that, is that ice in there? No, it's fake snow. It looks like that miniature that Manti could bring. <laughs> what do we call him, Mr. Jizzy? Yeah. The Jizz Golem. <laughs> Mr. Jizz Golem. <laughs> we should ask him. Um, Have you got no muscles? Google. Can you not do it? <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> go That's it. As can. <laughs> <laughs> we should ask Miss, Mrs. Google over there what she thinks. <laughs> hey, we, we're famous. We're famous. Yeah, because you asked the Mrs. Google over there, Power Stance Gamers, and she took us straight to the YouTube site. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. It's the power of the internet, baby. Yep. Um, speaking of finding us on the internet, you can check out Muddy's videos on YouTube and the episodes we chuck up there. Yep. Tweet Greg at Power PS Gaming. All over it. You know what? I logged in the other day. What is our Twitter handle, Greg? I've got no idea. But I logged in. I logged in the other day. I was like, ah, there is some interesting stuff on here. Did you look at the stuff I did told you, you to? Yeah, I did have a bit of a peruse. Yeah. Okay, but did you do anything to do with the podcast on there? No, because when you logged in, oh. like, you can't rush me. You're Just on your take search it easy. parameters again. You down, you down, did you download it or go on the PC? No, it was on my, I, my iPad. Oh, wow. Yep. Okay. That steps in the right direction, mate. Well, you know what I mean? So, we're getting there. We might send a tweet by Easter. <laughs> oh, don't, don't rush him. <laughs> Yeah, no, you got you to, you know, you got to just test, put the tour on the... There's, there's no cricket left, is there? Oh, about. we haven't spoken about the cricket. No, we can't yeah, talk about the cricket. someone's been dodging that. We can't talk <laughs> about the cricket, because did you watch it last night? No. It was last night. Watched... England smashed Australia. Wait up. Boom. It's the Ashes, it's, yeah, dude. It's now the One Day International. Four zip, Should we just... Bro. I don't know what you're talking Four about. One Day International. Bro. One nil. One nil. One nil. It's one, one day nil. Up. It's like... Yeah, but that's what the World that's, Cup's based off. It's the pleb. That's nah, the pleb one. That's what the World Cup's based off. The World off. Cup for cricket should just be the Commonwealth Games of cricket. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's, that's all it's playing. <laughs> World Cup. But then the Yanks call their bloody everything World Cup. Them. World Series. World Series. Oh, World, yeah, World Series. Series. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, but you guys are the only ones. <laughs> yeah, you're the only ones like, that play it. You're the only ones that want to play yeah. it too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I played baseball at uni. Did you? Yeah. I don't like baseball at all. It's, yeah, it's a funny one, baseball. I don't get it. Yeah, it's one of those games I think you gotta, pl- you gotta play it to understand it. You might as well just play cricket. No, there's a sport. Yeah. That's a proper sport. At least baseball, you come in and out from fielding, like, but sit they down the sun play, for play 10 for hours five straight. Days. Yeah. They don't, they don't even bowl, like, they chuck it. They're yeah. just chuckers. Yeah. yeah. But they you chuck know, really they fast. The Sri Lankans so and that always fast. get in trouble for chucking it all the time. They're a bunch of chuckers. Yeah, that's racist. You anyway. can't say that. No, they, they, they just chuck it. They're <laughs> like the baseball players. They just chuck it. <laughs> In case you were wondering, Greg, our Twitter handle is at PS Gaming Podcast. There you go, I knew it. It was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> so you can send us a tweet there. Please do, just to get the ball rolling, actually. that 
We might even get a retweet by the end of the month if we're really lucky. Um, you can email us at powerstancegamingpodcast at gmail.com. I check that. Don't worry. We're <laughs> <laughs> just looking at each other like, who's job that? <laughs> <laughs> but of course, most of the action happens on Facebook, so you can uh, find us there, Power Stance Gaming Podcast. Um, and we'll put all the stuff from the show up. Um, shout out again to our Patreon backers. Oh, let's do the draw. Um, here, Muddy. Yeah. Get the hat. Yeah. Yep. Oh, the other thing is, oh, how are our listeners going to win the CanCon army? Oh, we'll get to that. Holy we'll get to that. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. I've got heaps to go. Just just oh, yeah. we, need another, shake. we need another bowl of ice cream over here. Give it a shake. All right. Here, shake it. I'm shaking it. All right. No, I'm shaking don't, it. don't do that. Let's draw this ticket out. No. 300. <laughs> 300. <laughs> oh, yeah. 300. <laughs> I don't want to put my hand in there now. <laughs> no, I wouldn't touch it. Um, uh, and a reminder, like, the more you back us on Patreon, the more entries you got in this. Yeah. So, just do a quick reach in. Reach and, in, reach oh, in and get it. Fucking hell. Look at that. <laughs> Josh Tiddley. Oh, what? And a pube. <laughs> oh, that's mine. That's from earlier. <laughs> so, JT, you've got your very own Power Sense gaming t-shirt coming your way. Sunshine. And a pube. Great job. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll sign it. We'll sign the pew for you. <laughs> now, the Toha army, the CanCon remnants. If you want to win this army, and you should, because it's a 300-point battle royal army, fully painted. You can strip that. There's shit. conversions in there. <laughs> yeah, you can drop an acetone and you're laughing. It's themed. Just put it in Coke, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen the photos, I'll post them more up. But it is the what do you call them, the Joker? The Joker. The Joker. Joker. I like yeah. it. I like and, it. Uh, DC baby. HVT <laughs> is um, the Harley Quinn. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, she's she's hot. Um, paint up like that. She'd Look, get it's it. it's serviceable. Let's let's be real. She'd um, get it. Uh, nice. Just, yeah. just can I have that back before you? Yeah. No, okay. No, no. Um, so um. What we want to do is we want to have a bit of fun with this. So we want... Uh, we like fun here. Yeah. If you want this army, easy thing we need to do is we'll start do a... Do you want it? ...post on Facebook. I'll we want give you it to, to you. Post a photo of you. I feel like the Hulk should do this. And an artichoke. I can't say that. In a it's funny situation. In a funny situation? Ooh. So yourself... And an artichoke in a funny situation. If you want to Photoshop it, that's fine. If you want to do something Ooh. silly, that's fine. Get creative. Just get keep creative. it PG, folks. Keep it PG. Yeah, because Greg's mum might be... <laughs> She'll so probably you... send one in. <laughs> <laughs> if you want this Toho Army, it's uh, you and an artichoke in a funny situation. And um, we'll judge... When do we want to do it? Uh, Easter? Yeah, Is Easter. that too long? That's plenty of time. Two months? Two, two months. months. We'll do yep. it two months' time. So we'll put a closing date on it as well. Right. So, And we'll go from there. So eight weeks from... Uh, I don't know. Whenever. We'll figure it out. Yep. We're smart folk. Yep. Mm-hmm. We're like really smart and stable. And if you're at CanCon, come have a chat. We'll be at the Infinity and wandering around. I'll be certainly looking, doing a bit of shopping while I'm down there. It's a little bit of Christmas coin in my pocket, you know. Cashed up, ready to spend. If anyone has um, 1 to 50 scale Bushmasters, <laughs> I'm keen for a few of those. He's going all out, isn't he? Come on, Aussie platoon. So this board's going to look awesome. Yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah. So that's it, and uh, we'll, we'll be wearing PSG shirts round. So come say hi and we'll have a chat. Anything else to add, Jets? I think we've got everything. We've hopefully ticked I'll, all the boxes. Hopefully, I'll be balls deep in my PSG shirt. Good for you, son. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, alright, otherwise, good night. Good day. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for listening to Power Stance Gaming Podcast, the number one place for tabletop gaming and hobby banter. You know you love us. See you soon.